Hi, David Hood here, the Dallas SEO Geek, and this video is about undying SEO principles. There's actually uh, a lot of comments I get all the time about, hey, you know, it's always changing SEO, you know, what works last month or six months ago doesn't work today. And while there's a little bit of truth to that, uh, by and large, that's actually uh, not true. There's some, un there's some really fundamental, unchanging core principles that are involved in SEO. And yes, they might fluctuate a little bit, like they, this one principle, Google might count for 30%, and then the future might be 35%. It's not really that simple uh, in, in that it's more conditional and that sometimes, and they have like flags that they that they trip, and some, for some people it might be 30%, for other people it might be 50%, uh, but it'll never go from 30 to 99 or 30 to 1%, okay? Uh, not any time uh, soon, at least. Um, and they're also generally making their changes they make. A lot of times if you see that, they say it affects 1% of the total search results. That number generally is getting smaller and smaller. There's so, only so many tweaks that they can make uh, without kind of undoing some of their previous tweaks. Now, earlier on, they had some big, big updates that happened. And, you know, one of their one of the reasons why Google is so valuable and uh, changed the change the, the the landscape of search engines was they made a huge fundamental leap in how to to rank results. And I'm going to talk about that in a little bit. So let's talk about the first thing. Number one, they're always looking for relevancy. So relevancy is always going to be huge Google. Uh, otherwise, uh, Facebook is the most popular site. Everything would Facebook would show up for every result. Well, but it's not relevant to everything. Okay, so measuring relevancy, calculating the relevancy to a different to a search phrase, to a concept, to a set of ideas is always going to be important. So you always want to be able to make your site as relevant as possible or seem as relevant as possible to the uh, people that you're trying to target. You know, let's think about uh, who Google's main customer is. Their main customer isn't actually the people buying ads. The main, their main customer are the searchers, okay? And so they want to answer their searchers' queries as best as possible. Right, um, and so they want to serve up as mo the most relevant search results, and so that's ultimately their goal. That's their main driving factor. If they think you're most relevant, the most relevant uh, item to something, then it really doesn't matter. All the other factors don't really come into play. That's why, uh, for your brand name, you should rank very easily and very well. Because especially if it's a unique brand name, there's no one else that's really relevant to uh, Joe McGillicuddy's uh, Dallas Plumbing business, right? And you search that up, and there's no one else really relevant to that. So relevancy is huge, and it's always important. So, and it's something that you always want to keep in mind. Okay, simple on page. Uh, I love. I'm a big fan of Albert Einstein, and you know, really, this is pretty simple. Uh, the the core principles of on page are going to uh, be around for a long time because what you put on your page definitely tells Google who you are and what you're about, right? And there's simple things, and I've talked about this in other things, but really it's like the title of your page, the URL of your page, and the way you interlink your page, or, or otherwise known as your site structure. This is going to be really important, and this is not changing. There's all sorts of little things that you can do, uh, geotagging your pages, and there's, there's the semantic web that's coming, and all that stuff is going to be important, but the core principles of on page, again, title and URL and the structure of your site, are not really going to change that much. That tells Google a whole lot about your page. Um, and all things being equal, that's going to trump everything else. Uh, it's 99% of what you really need. Yeah, to a lesser extent, there's your, your H1 tags uh, and you know the content and, and your, your actual tags and your categories. Those are important as well. But it's very, very small. And there's really an infinite minutia. And that's why when you get those automated website auditor reports that, you know, they'll give you an F even if you're right here really well because there's all these little things that really, you know, technically it helps, but it's it's like throwing a piece of sand on, uh, uh, on a beach and saying, oh, I've made the beach bigger. You know, that's not really, the, the beach is already there. You've already created it and the most important piece is already there. This is not really going to change for a very long time as far as I can tell. Okay. Engagement metrics. This is a really huge one that uh, I think is heavily misunderstood. I have a really great case study for this um, where the engagement metrics for a, a specific search phrase for a site was were really strong and it was just impossible for anyone to, to uh, remove that site from the number one spot. And this is really important to understand how Google kind of measures these and what they can see. So here's one thing to think about. If Here's a great example. So if there's 
uh, someone at the number one spot and someone at the number two spot for a specific search phrase. And everyone that searches that goes, clicks on the number one spot. They come back to the search results in three to five seconds. They click on the next spot, and either they don't come back or they stay on the site for a long time before going to the number three spot. That number two spot is definitely going to outrank the number one spot at some point because it's clear to Google, hey, you know, the number one spot, that's really not answering people's search search uh, query. But the number two spot, people are going there, they're not coming back, or they're staying for a really long time. They're going to recognize that, and they're going to reward that number two site, even if all the other metrics uh, are better for the number one site. And that's this this is actually a trump card. If your engagement metrics are better than everyone else's, you'll keep your ranking, period. There's there's really no way for them to, to override it. That's why it's... When people say, oh, the algorithm is this percent of this much and this percent this much, it's not really that simple. Uh, because if you think about, go back to the relevancy and what, what, what does Google really want to show their searchers? Uh, they want to show them the most relevant query, that an an the most relevant results that answers their queries. And if they're going to a site and they're not coming back or they're spending a ton of time on it, much more than every other site that they found, then then they're going to go, okay, well, this is clearly answering that query. So uh, there's, there's more... Uh, involvement here, there's more factors, but that's a, a general gist about this. And this is not going to change. Google has start, had, has measured this for a long time and they're going to continue to measure it. They're not going to stop. So understanding how to get your 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 visitors to stay on your site, to answer their queries, to to have very specific landing pages for very specific search phrases so that they so so that when they arrive on their site it's built just for them. Um, this is all going to be important uh, from here and for a very long time. Okay. Let's go back to, uh, okay, so yes, link building will always be important. This is something that that uh, a lot of people say, ah, link building, you know, it's links aren't going to be important. So if you don't know what link building is, it's basically off-page SEO, and Google's algorithm is essentially a popularity contest where the more people that reference you and the more trusted those people are, they, the more that they like your site. It's sort of like uh, them coming to a school, a high school, and automatically ass assuming that, hey, the, the quarterback of the football team and the head cheerleader, those are high in social standing, and so they're going to uh, take their word higher or they're going to treat them with more respect than other people, just generally speaking, um, to, be, to put a big cliche. This goes way back to, uh, I don't know if you remember Web Crawler, uh, Webcrawler was one, a really popular search engine before Google was launched in the mid to late 90s. I remember using it a lot, and no, no one had no search engine had come up with under with using links to help evaluate the value and the trust of a site. And Google came along and they started using links. This is their big development. This is the major thing that enabled them to to completely crush other people and giving much better relevant results. And so links are a huge core part of their algorithm. And Matt Cutts has even said that, hey, you know, we've tested in-house not using links in the search results are much worse. So for the time being and for quite some time, links are, are, are going to be important. And so you, you need high, high quality, relevant links that are as trusted as possible. And this is not going to change. And a lot of people go, ah, you know, links, is that something that we, you know, we're going to... We're going to need in the future again. Yes, yes, you are. Okay, so uh, this last one's really important, and I don't hear it talked about enough. A lot of people, when they when they talk about on page, they'll talk about all the specific things on an isolated page. But what is really, really important, in a lot of ways, is more important is how how does that page and how do all your pages fit into a grander plan? And tell Google, you know, what your what are you relevant to? What are these specific pages relevant to? And I've pasted in here a uh, it's actually a a uh, management diagram, but the principles are exactly the same. You've got your home page at the top, uh, and then you've got your main categories of your site uh, is the second level underneath your home page, and then you've got subcategories of that, and then sub subcategories of that. And this is really important to build this what I call a conceptual tree structure of your site. Where does everything fit into your site? And build it out uh, so that it's not just your home page and a bunch of little a bunch of pages that all kind of interlink to each other and, and not really an organized fashion. This organized fashion definitely is something that is not going away anytime soon. It's very powerful now because so few people uh, do it, uh, and v even less people do it well and really understand the importance of it. Essentially, what you're getting here is that some of these lesser pages are getting a, a relevancy boost because only relevant people. Uh, pages are are uh, are set up to where they're linking to it and link and 
and from it, right? Uh, so that this is important to draw this from the very beginning. It also makes it so that when you create content, it's within a bigger game plan to where it really maximizes the power of of content versus just like random blog. And you've got a site, and you're just like, all right, these are the keywords I want to rank for. We're just going to do a bunch of random blog. No, nah, that's not really how it. You know, you're, yeah, that's okay, but it's you could do it a lot better. Okay, and, and this essentially tells Google uh, what your site is about and what the individual pages are about. So this is really important. So the site structure. Okay, that's all I've got. And uh, there's just tons of undying principles. These are the main ones. And don't let people convince you that hey, you know, it's every, it's just upheaval every six months. You know, you have to completely change everything. No, there are fundamental things that if you do right and you do well, you're going to rank for a long time. And I always try to incorporate that in all of my campaigns. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.